matrix reloaded, short move review. The machines are digging straight down to Zion, and the Oracle is nowhere to be found. This movie went against a lot of what we expected and wanted from The Matrix, and it's a movie that doesn't feel very much like the first one, and though it does try to kind of say that what we thought of as true is not real, it ultimately can't, it can't really top, you know, the, you know, what you think of as reality is just a simulation. You, you can't do that again. And as such, it just, there, there are a number of problems with both, with, with various elements that we expected from another Matrix movie. The philosophy, exposition, and action is no longer paced or balanced well, and there are chunks of the movie that consist of just one of them, and, you know, part of it will be just one of them for a while, and then just another of them for a while, where the first one did really well at making them gel and keeping things moving, and the, the movie loses all the momentum it's built every so often with, by, for example, going to one of these just bits of just nothing but exposition, or, yeah. The, there's more bad acting, more awkward lines that are meant to be clever. This introduces Zion and a ton of new characters. Zion itself is a disappointment, and the new characters were just not really given much of a reason to care. A lot of them don't feel that necessary, and a lot of them aren't that necessary. And they're just, there's, there's only so many stoic badasses who either talk very little or way too much that we can tolerate. The, there are some really interesting new characters, and the action scenes utilize the fact that Neo is now the one, and the fact that there are other you know, he's not, he and the agents are not the only ones in the Matrix that have substantial powers. But, yeah, the, the action scenes tend to run long and tend to feel kind of artificial, sanitized. There's just, the, a lot of elements in the movie needed to be trimmed down or refined, and they weren't because everybody loved the first Matrix, and the Wachowskis were given carte blanche to do what they wanted, how they wanted it, and no one told them the scenes were running way too long, or losing track of where the characters we care about are in this action scene, and so on and so forth. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box.